One of the biggest advantages to being a PC handheld is the fact that emulation performance is just so strong. Setting up emulation on the ROG Ally is super simple. It's literally the same as setting it up on, say, a Windows PC. Because it is a Windows PC, most people are familiar with setting up emulation on PC. You just download an installer or zip file for your favorite emulator. Install it, run it, and then do whatever you need to do, such as grabbing BIOSes. That said, if you're familiar with the Steam Deck scene, you may know of a little program called EmuDeck. EmuDeck does have a Windows version, but it's in beta and it's exclusive to patrons over on their Patreon page. So if you do sign up for the Patreon page, just use EmuDeck instead. But today, we're here to talk about emulation. More specifically, PS3 emulation. The PS3 has a history of being a complex system to emulate, but thanks to hardworking emulation developers, as well as advancements in technology, you can run PS3 titles. There's also a good portion of PS3 titles that, simply put, never made it off the console, or at the very least, never made it to PC. There's a couple of games I want to try out, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to try out five titles, some of which are heavy hitters that, simply put, could not make it off the console. So without further ado, let's begin then. The one one title I really wanted to look at was Metal Gear Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid 4 is one of the hardest to run PS3 titles. If there was any Metal Gear game that desperately needed a port, it's probably Metal Gear Solid 4. There's a lot of settings and custom patches needed to get MGS4 running properly, all of which is detailed in the RPCS3 wiki page. Links in the description down below. At 15 watts, the game runs between 30 and 40 FPS more often than not. The game can run at 60 FPS, but more often than not, you'll be playing this game at 30 FPS, even on real hardware. The hope is that the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection ports Metal Gear Solid 4 to PC as well, just in time for Metal Gear Delta the next game I tried out was Skate 3, a game that's pretty infamous for being difficult to run on emulators. I will admit, this is just the tutorial area, but it runs at 60 FPS. No additional tweaks required. I also decided to try this out with Windows 11's built-in recording tools, and I didn't notice any performance degradation, so that's good. And honestly, it's pretty fun. I've never played the Skate games, but I have played the Tony Hawk games, and it's a very different feel. Next up is Drakengard 3. The game runs at 30 FPS on official hardware, and it's capped at 30 FPS as well. The ally can easily maintain 30 FPS. The real sauce is that there's a 60 FPS patch, and the ally can easily hit 60. Next up is Red Dead Redemption 1. Unlike its sequel, Red Dead Redemption 2, this isn't available on PC. And unfortunately, even with all the tweaks recommended by the RPCS3 wiki, the game doesn't really run all that well. Even at a higher wattage, the game just does not run well. You'd get a much better experience out of a higher powered gaming desktop. Is it possible that there's room for optimization later on down the line? Maybe. But for the time being, the game just does not run well. And finally, I've saved the best for last. And you can quote me on this. Odin Sphere Leifthrasir. That's right. Anyone that's ever watched a high-tech low-life emulation video would have seen this coming. There isn't really much to say. The game runs really well as is. A very stable 60 FPS. It even runs well under the silent preset. And that about covers it. I think I've covered a good variety of PS3 titles, though I think there are some others that people really want to see some really intense PS3 titles like Gran Turismo 6. I would test out the PS3 version of The Last of Us, but we literally have a PC version of the remaster. It took a little bit of time to test out these PS3 titles, so if you want more PS3 titles tested, please let me know in the comments down below. PS Vanillaware, please port your games to PC. If you like this video, be sure to press the thumbs up button and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. And if you want to see more high-tech lowlife, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. And for you enlightened individuals, be sure to join my Discord server. And if you wish to support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description down below.